What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach and we are here to talk about Avengers Endgame, which is finally out. Uh, it's been a long year wait. And I saw it last night. And let me preface this, for those of you that don't know me personally, I am probably one of the biggest MCU fans you'll ever meet. I've been there since the beginning. I've seen every MCU fan in theaters since Iron Man 1. And uh, I know all the characters, the history, the lore. I've done a lot of research, watched all the TV shows. You know, it's just one of those things where it just kind of takes over you at some point and you get to know this, this universe and get invested like this. And with what they pulled off last night is just simply incredible. I saw it at 8 o'clock last night. It's about 11 in the morning right now as I record this. And I'm still kind of processing everything. It's just so much to take in um, because you're talking about closing out a 22 film franchise in the most epic way possible. Um, but I, I, I think they pulled it off. I just want to go on record right now and say I absolutely loved this movie. I still think, personally, Infinity War was just a little bit better, but I still loved, 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 loved this movie. It was everything I wanted it to be, you know? It, and it all goes back to the Russos, what the Russos have done, you know, with, with their talents and the way they cra helped craft this universe and the way they helped figure out this incredibly complex story to close this this saga out you know it was it was incredible you know and i got to give props to anthony and joe russo man they 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 they're legendary you know and, and what they've done how they've handled this cast this crew this this overall story it's just it's it's not easy to do man and i give the guys props man so hopefully they can rest for a while i don't know when we'll see them again in the mcu but I think they've earned it, man. I really do. And same goes with the cast. You know, I know a lot of the cast is still going to stick around, but for the ones that left, and I mean, by the way, this ain't going to be, I'm not going to talk about anything spoiler related, but, um, you know, it, as far as the cast, it's just, uh, a lot of them will still be here. Some of them won't, but the ones who won't, I think they've earned their place and, uh, I think they've earned their time away. So, you know, and Hey, I mean, you never, you never say never, man. You never know who's going to come back or what's going to happen. So. Granted, some are gone for good, but there are some that, you know, y you just never know. But yeah, I'm totally speaking from the heart right now. I didn't write anything down. I didn't prepare anything. This is all just me going off the gun. So I apologize if it's a little, you know, disjointed a bit, but it's just all these emotions coming out of me and talking about this movie. It's just, it's crazy, you know? So uh, I'm going to be doing like a more, I think come Monday, I also run a, a podcast called Comic Book Weekly and you know, every week we get together and, and talk about superhero stuff. So probably Monday, I'm going to get together with two really good friends of mine, uh, Troy and Art. And we're just going to give our entire thoughts on the movie. Big spoiler, just get into all the plot points and stuff like that. But but for now, you know, I wanted to keep this real short and sweet. So um, just, just real quick, a few things I loved about it was the unexplained twist. Uh, there was a lot of unexpected stuff. I kind of predicted a few things about this movie. I had a feeling of where some stuff would go. And I was kind of right in, in some areas, but... I was also kind of wrong in some areas, but I'm glad I was because they subverted my expectations really well, and I, I liked what they did. I, I really didn't see a couple things coming at all, so it was it was a nice treat to see. Um, there have been movies before where I've pretty much predicted everything that happened, and it was eh, the, the feeling wasn't the same as when when you're surprised. So I mean, in this movie, you know, it, it, it is three hours long. It, it doesn't feel like it at times, and I, I will say, it, it's like this. I, I picture this movie like a like a like a train, like a train. Uh, it it, it kind of it does kind of start off a little slow, but it really didn't bother me. I didn't care that it was slow. I was enjoying every minute of it, but it does kind of start a little bit slow. But what man, once it goes and once it gets up to speed, it does not stop. It is just all uphill from there, and it is incredibly fantastic. Um, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. I of course it, it had a lot to build up into. I understand why they took. So, I, I understand why they took so much time to build up this 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 the plot of this film but it, but it, me personally it, it didn't bother me on a personal level i know it bothered a few other people you know uh but yeah there are stakes in this movie and that's exactly what i wanted and the way they handled those stakes was everything i could have asked for um it it it, it really gives it a lot of emotional weight and i'll be honest man i the ending of this movie is very emotional and i uh i'm not one to cry or tear up in movies but this this movie got me it broke me a little bit um i teared up you know, I teared up, and that's what happens when you invest into characters for 11 years. I mean, you get to know these characters like they're your own personal friends. You know, you watch them for 
10 plus years on the big screen and all these little side projects and interviews and stuff and they become a part of you man you really care for these characters so so what they did with this emotional weight at the end it really pays off and you know it's kind of a gut punch it feels like it feels like real life so i like i said i got to give props again for for the way they handled that and the way they evoked all that emotion from me it was it was incredible and i think i think overall it wrapped up nicely it, it's 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 a very well put together film it's it's incredibly crafted from start to finish there's it's so complex you know there's so much going on throughout this movie but i think they pulled it off i think it's a fantastic movie i cannot wait to see it again i'll probably see it again like saturday or sunday um but I loved it. I, I loved it. Endgame is truly a one of a kind film. I don't think we'll ever think. I, I don't think we'll ever get another film of this magnitude ever again. At least not for years and years down the road. It's truly remarkable. Um, and that third act, final battle, is. I, I don't think I'll ever see anything like that again. It. Uh, <laughs> what can you say without giving anything away? It was just that battle is is something else, man. It, wait till you see that. So yeah, that's my quick thoughts. Like I said, I didn't want to give too much away. I, I'm going to save this for uh, a more in-depth discussion, probably Monday with with Troy and Art. We're going to just delve into everything because I do have a lot to talk about regarding this film. I have a lot of, not issues, but I have a lot of, you know, basically where, where are things going from here. And I wouldn't say plot holes. I don't think there's any plot holes personally. I know a lot of people are having real problems with the time travel stuff, which... If you would have paid attention, you would you could get a grasp of what's going on. So we'll talk about all that next week. For those of you that follow us, check us out Monday. I'll put out a big podcast. Just we'll get so in depth with Avengers Endgame and talk about the movie. Um, for those of you that don't know us, if you come across our channel, you know just by happenstance, man, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. We're we're really trying to get more followers and grow our fan base, and we want to connect with you, man. We want to talk to you about projects and showcase you especially if you're an indie filmmaker that's what we do we specialize in independent artists music movies television anything any type of indie artist you could be an indie painter for god's sakes come talk to us man so if you find our channel subscribe man we're i'm really trying to put out more content you know movie reviews trailer reactions trailer breakdowns you know so i hope you like our channel man I hope you like this video uh give me your thoughts on endgame what did you think of it tell me what you thought of it you know i'm, I'm always willing to talk to new people about about movies like this, especially the comic superhero stuff. So, yeah, man, uh, I'm Zach. Follow us everywhere at the Indie Rundown. We're out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown Podcast.